One of my coworkers is a Chinese teacher, and she recently shared an idiom with me that perfectly describes what we teachers hope for from our students. Jin Chu Yu Lan, Er Shen Yu Lan. I was interested to learn that it involves the colors blue, green, and blue, and that blue, green here basically means new, and blue means old. And so the whole idiom comes to mean the student surpasses the teacher. In English, speakers also use the words green and blue in many of our idioms. The first idiom I'd like to teach you today is blue hair. We usually use it in the plural. For example, we might say, oh, that beauty parlor is where the blue hairs go. Blue hairs here means elderly women. I have to say, it's not the most polite idiom, but if everyone you're talking to when you use it has a good sense of humor, you should be fine. We use the word green in an idiom about envy when we say green with envy, as if you could be so envious of somebody else, their looks, their money, their lifestyle, that you would turn green. An idiom that I like that involves blue is once in a blue moon. This idiom just means rarely. Someone might ask you, do you ever go to the movies by yourself? And if you don't often do that, you could say, oh, once in a blue moon. There are so many more idioms in English that involve the words blue and green that I could talk until I'm blue in the face and probably not be done with them all. For now, until we meet again, I wish you a little rub of the green in your study of English.